Hey everybody, Aaron Cowan, Sage Dynamics, back with a, another video on a drill I like for RDS handguns. In this video, we're gonna talk about the Bear Solution Standards. I got turned on to this drill a few years ago and it was something I really like to shoot from iron sights. One thing that definitely appeals to me about the drill is it's intended to be shot cold. I like cold drills because I feel like that's a more realistic measurement of our skill set. We go to the range, the very first thing we do is we set up for that drill, the task conditions and standards if you will, our three common metrics, time, distance and accuracy, and we shoot it cold. First rounds down range are going to give us a measurement to those metrics of where our skill set lies. I really appreciate drills like that, I've created drills like that myself. So such as the Eleanor and even, if you want, Cadence Standards. Now this drill is a little bit more labor intensive as far as ammunition is concerned. So especially uh, these days, we're still kind of starting to recover from the ammunition scare of 2020. I guess there were three separate ammunition scares in 320 for three different events. But anyway, uh, it's going to require more rounds than maybe you can shoot regularly, but that's okay because the drill's intended to be shot cold, which means you're probably just going to do it once. First, day, first thing you get to the range, you're going to set up for it, you're going to shoot it, then you're going to move on with whatever you happen to be doing that day. Uh, you can shoot it again at the end of the day, or if you want, you can shoot it warmed up, but it's intended to be shot cold to give you a pretty good evaluation of where your skill set lies with the skills that it measures. Because it doesn't measure everything, but it gives you a good idea as far as the skills required for the drill, how things are going with those particular skill sets, what needs work, what runs on autopilot, what has already become unconsciously competent, and maybe some small tweaks you can make. Or once you start to become proficient with the drill and every time you shoot it cold from the range, you're getting it consistently, you're working on doing it faster and faster and faster and faster. Because once we can do something from a certain distance to a certain accuracy standard, then the lifelong struggle becomes how do I do it faster and faster and faster and faster. Now you can go to the Bear Solutions website and print the target off. It prints out on a regular piece of printer paper, eight and a half by 11, and it gives you three target zones which are used for the drill standards. The standard for the drill is to be shot from five meters. It specifically says meters, although I think if you did yards, no one would really get mad at you. However, the drill is set for uh, the metric system, uh, and that's something to be aware of. It's got three target zones on the target two six, and, six inch by three and a half boxes, and then you have a circle in the middle. The drill is pretty straightforward. It's shot from the holster, hands down on the gun. It doesn't specify as far as holster type. So if you're carrying from duty concealment or duty holster, I would assume that meant that the retention device was engaged. If you're carrying from concealment, I would assume it meant that the gun was concealed. However, it doesn't specifically spell that out. If you're going to pick one or the other, just keep just be consistent. Using a shot timer on the tone, you fire five rounds to the left, five rounds to the right rectangle, reload, and then fire three rounds to the center circle. So you're going to have a 10 round magazine in the gun, in the holster, hands off the gun, get your shot timer on the beep, five, transition five, reload three. 13 rounds, but a lot gets done in these 13 rounds. We've got two cadence strings of fire. We've got a transition from one point of aim to another. We've got a reload, losing visual history with the target necessarily, depending on how well the reload goes. Presenting a back out, gun back out, reacquiring the dot, and then firing another three rounds at a considerably smaller point of aim. Now the standard for this, like I said, is five meters, but you can also shoot it from three, or you can shoot it from seven. The par time is nine seconds or faster. So if you start start off shooting it from the three because you're not really comfortable with it and you're able to get six, five, four seconds, whatever your time is, maybe it's time to move it back. If you're beating the nine second par time consistently at five meters cold, next time you come to the range, move it back to seven or move it back to 10. Uh, I like this drill because even though it is a little bit more ammo intensive than some of the other drills out there, it requires you to do more in a relatively small period of time I've got to acquire my initial dot presentation. I've got to fire a five round string of cadence on a relatively small point of aim, depending on which distance you're shooting it from. I've got to change my point of aim rapidly, fire another five rounds. Then I've got to perform a slide lock reload, reacquire my dot, which is a little bit easier than picking up the dot on the draw stroke for those of you new to dot guns, but still has it's somewhat difficult, somewhat difficulties when we get into par times and we're trying to beat a timer. And then I got to fire three rounds, slightly more precise to a smaller point of aim. So I'll go ahead and show you guys how I did. The way I did this, uh, because I come to the range at least once a week, sometimes two, three times a week, I fired it cold three separate times coming to the range. Did it from three, then I did it from five, then I did it from seven. So here's my three cold runs.
overall pretty happy with my performance, but this video isn't necessarily just showing you guys how to shoot. I'm just kind of demonstrating uh, where I'm at skill set wise and in, in applying my skills to that drill. I've fired this drill a lot, but it can still be somewhat challenging. Uh, it's just another drill to put in your quote unquote toolbox for skill assessment. I'm able to make part time pretty consistently with it. In fact, these days I'm trying. Uh, and for especially the seven meter distance, I'm probably always going to be kind of fighting for that consistency of being able to do this thing sub seven seconds, sub six seconds. I haven't decided what should be my almost unachievable benchmark for the drill standards, uh, but it's a quick and easy drill to set up. It's only it's supposed to just be fired cold. So if you want to stick with that uh, suggestion from Bear Solutions, my advice is set it up first thing in the range, 13 rounds down range, then move on with whatever else you're doing, shoot whatever drills you're gonna shoot, do whatever else you're gonna do, and then maybe shoot it one more time before you leave, or just kinda leave it. Have it be that drill that you only fire one time every time you go to the range, uh, which can be a little aggravating for some people, because some people wanna practice to the standard, but the standard for this drill is cold. So, can't really practice to the standard. Uh, but, you should definitely be aware of the functionality of the drill uh, before you start being too hard on yourself for not being able to achieve that part-time or shoot the part-time you want or get the accuracy that you want. But this is just another drill that I found useful, not only for just handguns, but specifically for red dot handguns because uh, it reincorporates and it still covers a lot of those basic skills that we need for using the red dot. What you're going to find, as I have found, is once you get comfortable with the red dot, you're going to shoot the Bear Solutions drill way faster on a red dot than you ever did on irons. I'm Eric Count with Sage Dynamics. Train accordingly.